how to make systems recover from failures without causing much impact to other systems in other words how to make systems resilient and fault tolerant the obvious answer is to use a circuit breaker now in frameworks such as spring cloud one can use hysterics to implement circuit breaker but when it comes to mule there is no such out of the box solution available so in this video we'll try to create a custom connector to implement the circuit breaker so let's get started now here's the design of the solution i'll be creating a custom connector which has two roots so it will be a root based connector the first root is main root and the other one is fallback root main root is happy path scenarios when there are no errors but in case if there are errors and the circuit breaker trips to the open state then it moves everything through the fallback root so in fallback root there can be a logic to send a cached response if you want to offer a degraded service rather than offering no service so that particular logic has to be written in fallback root behind the scenes i'll be using hazelcast the idea of using hazelcast here is that i want the solution to work on a distributed system for example i have this app hosted on node 1 and the same app is hosted on node 2 so it's a situation wherein we have a cluster of uh, or cluster of servers or server groups which uh, where the application is replicated across two different nodes so i want the state of the circuit breaker to be uniform across all the nodes so even if the request is load balanced across these two nodes if the state is open for node 1 it should be open for node 2 as well so that's the idea behind using hazelcast because it provides in memory data grid so we can replicate the state on one node to the other as well so both of them will be in sync with each other then there are a few other things to it so a current circuit breaker will have three states open closed and error now for the time being i'm not adding the half open state because we'll try to create a simple solution and maybe in that later point of time we'll try to improvise this so open is when the circuit gets open so if it exceeds a given threshold at a particular time period then the circuit moves to the open state and if the state is open it moves through the fallback route closed is the normal state so initially it's in closed and when uh, the errors start accumulating and the threshold exceeds it goes to open now there's the third state which is error so initially the circuit breaker will be in the closed state but when the errors start coming up in that case the circuit breaker will move to the error state and if the errors exceed the threshold it will move to the open state so even in case of the error state the circuit will allow the message to flow through the main route the moment it goes to the open state it will uh, push the message through the fallback route now there is something called as replicated map so the replicated map is a key value data structure wherein the key will be the application name and the value will be the st state of the circuit breaker for example here the app is demo app 1 which is this application hosted on two different nodes and it will have the state so here the state is closed which means that the demo app 1 is in closed state so all the messages or whatever the transaction is will go through the main route if in case if the request is load balanced between two on each node any node it will go through the closed route so this map will be shared between these two nodes using hazelcast so that they have the same state across both the nodes then i'll be adding counters to decide how many errors and what is the percentage and using that percentage will will trip the circuit breaker so pn counter is a conflict free free replicated data type so this particular data type allows us to keep track of errors and operations so i'll be adding errors and 
operation count to the pn counter data structure and using this i'll be able to identify if the errors have crossed the particular threshold or not so that's the overview of the solution and this is how we'll, we'll develop this custom connector so in the next video we'll get our hands dirty with uh, the actual coding of this circuit breaker